Welcome to ShakeLine.com. I'm really happy that you are here today watching us again here on YouTube. And well, so this time it's going to be a little bit less formal. Yeah, this time I'm not going to be the bartender. I'm going to be your friend. I'm going to talk to you about what we use, what you need to have your bar at home. So in this way, what we're going to do, we're going to prepare for myself a gin tonic in the way I drink. I put first one ice cube, then this is my gin mare, this is one of my favorite gins. But let's think we don't have a jigger, we don't have anything else. Well, this part of this bottle, it's five centiliters, the way I suggest also to drink it. Yeah, so you just fill it up and throw it in. Close the bottle, we put it apart, and then our tonic water. Yeah, I like to use it with Mediterranean tonic water, adds extra flavors of Timian and uh, rosemary. Yeah, and also some um, or flavors really, really tasty. So let's add it slowly over the ice. We're gonna put around 200. 250 milliliters, not till the top because till we're gonna add more ice. We're gonna add the other two ice cubes. This on the side. This is my favorite trick now. We're gonna take the rosemary, fresh, and we are gonna burn the first are the edges yeah so in this way we are gonna add this smoky flavor from the rosemary yeah this is the way i really enjoy it please fire is not a game please do it responsibly yeah once it's on that it's red we put it inside and we make a turn inside to extinguish the fire and this is the way i drink my gin tonic so now let's First of all, cheers guys. Thank you for being here. Wow. I like it a lot. So today we're going to explain a little bit more about what we do have at home that maybe we don't have so, so much professional um, equipment to prepare some cocktails. So we're going to start with the most common shaker, the three-part shaker. Yeah, one, two, and three parts when we put it together we just assemble it like this one two and three and then we can shake it yeah this is the first shaker then we're gonna go for the tin Boston shaker so we have a small tin yeah it's a little bit fashion but it's cool and the big tin so we pour on the small one and we cover it we hit it once and then we can shake it yeah this is the second kind of then we have the most traditional one, that is the Boston glass with a tin. Also same way, we add the ingredients in our Boston glass, and then we cover it with the tin, we heat it once, and then we can shake, yeah? But well, imagine we don't have all this fancy stuff. What we're gonna do, what we can have at home? Well, for sure we have one of these at home after one party. This is actually a souvenir from a great wedding. I really remember Bernardo Amanda was an amazing wedding. Um, so this one is really easy. We open it, we put the ingredients, we put the cocktail inside, we put the ice, close it, be sure that here is closed, and then we can shake it. Okay, and to put it, we can first strain only open it here and squeeze it in your glass. This is an easy way to do it at home. Yeah, so let's continue. What else we can need at home? Yeah, we can use also one of these babies, steering glass. Okay, the steering glass works mostly to steer the ice and melt a little bit the ice and make it in one flavor like the martini, steered, no shaken. Don't forget that phrase. We're gonna go there now. So this is a fancy glass, it's really cool. I enjoy it a lot working with it. And well, if we don't have it, what we can do? We can 
have a regular glass. Yeah, and this makes also the function. We put the ice inside, we take our spoon, or a regular spoon, yeah? This is completely regular spoon, and then we can do it in the same way. So before we continue on all the glasses, we explain, we have the tweezers. The tweezers, we use them for the garnish, the decoration. Yeah, most of it is really comfortable and hygienic. We do not touch the fruits or the plants or the vegetables that we are using for the garnish with our hands. That's why we use the thumbs, okay, to take it. Then we have here our cutting board, chopping board. Important, yeah, so we don't um, destroy our knives. Yeah, talking about that, I use a small ceramic uh, knife. This is for me really comfortable to work. Yeah, and it goes really good. So you, we can hit here in the wood and nothing happens to the knife. I'm glad that we are enjoying this, doing this finally after all these programs. Cheers again. Ah, so cool. So we have the bottle opener. This is important. This is a fashion one. You can use any at home. And this one you put the finger, you can play. But also it's for a speed opening. Yeah? What is important for this? If you're gonna prepare a gin tonic, you need to open the tonic water. You have it like really hand. Then we have the peeler. Yeah, when we need to take the peel an orange, the peel of a lime, lemon, we take it with this one. I use a special one. You can see that it has some shapes here. I don't know if you can see it here, maybe here in the top. Yeah, and this one makes a small texture that I really enjoy it. Yeah, it works really good. Yeah. Then we have our lighter. I use this kind of power uh, lighters, good med lighters, because this one, it's easier to handle it and it's faster also to, like you saw it in the beginning of the video, to take the, mm, the lips on fire yeah, and to make this smoky. With this one, it's easier, you don't risk your hands. That is also really important. Continue in this way. One of the things that is more, the most important to work with, yeah, it's our jigger. This is a standard jigger. It's two C and, and it's four CL in this side, so two ounces, and in this side is two CL, so one ounce. Okay. So with this one, what we can do if we do not have it? Yeah, because not everybody have it. You don't find the correct one. Wait, don't worry. We can use a shot glass. Okay. This one, it's a four cent liter standard shot glass in some countries, knows it as a double shot glass. This single one, two centiliters, one ounce, two ounces. Really comfortable if you don't have everything from the bar, you know, you have your bar at home because it's a house. So it's really important that you use what you have. We're gonna put them again on the side and we continue. You have seen me using these beautiful things. Yeah, this is a pudder from this small tube up to here. It goes out the air and, well, goes in the air and then the liquid goes out this way. Uh, this helps to keep a standard pouring. There are two different ones. Let's go to the most common. This one that you can buy it in any store. Yeah, that drinks and, and all these liquor stores it's really cheap but it's good it works and this one that is a little bit more professional is some gummy rubber here and this one is more solid both work yeah they are super easy and comfortable to to work with i like them yeah and this is like my favorite one you have to clean them every time you choose them okay that this is really really important to do it then we have our single strainer. What does this little funny thing does? This has one main function that is to stop the ice. We take one of our tins. 
After we have the cocktail inside, we just put it, we cover it around, we fix it with one finger here in the top, and then we can pour without the ice. Then we have this small strainer, yeah? If there are small parts of ice, we just stop them like this. Yeah, this works for the most um, exquisite, to say it like this, uh, cocktails. You don't want, uh, in, uh, let's say, a cosmopolitan with extra ice pieces. We want it either clean or with ice, but not something like medium, okay? So then let's continue now with the modeler. The modeler is amazing. I really enjoy it, but it's for pressing to model like the mojito, for example. We take again our mojito glass, we put the sugar, we put the lime, we press it, yeah, we model it, and then we can keep on doing it. If you don't have it, you can use anything that is long and hard, okay? Please don't misunderstand it. Yeah, so let's go here and it works like that. And now next, the, the bar spoons. The bar spoons can be used as a regular spoon or you can use a regular spoon. This is an ice cream spoon. Yeah, it's the same as a teaspoon. You can see it is small. It's almost the same design or model. It's almost the same size, every size. Yeah, so you can switch it. Okay, this one does not have this fancy side, you know, that is curled like this, but it's what you have at home and it's really good to use it. Yeah, we have to use what we have at home. And well, the toothpicks for cocktails. Yeah, so the wooden picks. These are mostly for decoration cocktails or for finger food. Yeah, I suggest you more to use this because first of all, they're a little bit thicker. Yeah, not so small as a toothpick. And they don't break so easy. Yeah, so it's really good. So now let's go to the glasses. Oh my God, it's gonna be cool. It's a lot of glasses in here. So we have a regular standard glass. This one, we use it for mojito. Yeah, this is like the basic mojito glass. It's strong, so we can model in it, and it's really comfortable. Then the next one we have here are our shot glasses. As we mentioned before, we have the two centiliters and the four centiliters. Yeah, this one, yeah, work to shot. This is more fancy now. This came in the last years again. It comes from Spain. It's a gin tonic glass. It's a balloon glass, okay? Cheers, by the way. We use this one mostly for gin tonics or big cocktails. Okay, this is a capacity of 640 milliliters. Then we continue with a standard cocktail glass. Yeah, this one and we use for an old Cuban, for example, is really good for um, an espresso martini. It works amazing. Now let's continue now with a copper mug. This one we use it, for example, for cold drinks like the Moscow Mule, yeah, and keep it a little bit colder. It's fancy, but also it's related with the temperature that we need. Let's go now for these two ones. They look really, really alike, yeah? is a low ball glass and this is a whiskey tumbler which is the difference or where is the difference between two glasses the first one these most of them they have something engraved this one we use it for bourbon or for whiskey neat okay we usually do not mix in this glass this one is for short cocktails yeah or for mixed uh, drinks if you see like a long drink in a short glass, it's still a long drink, okay? Um, let's go for the next ones. This is the high ball. Yeah, you can see here we have high and low ball. Yeah, super cool the, the way they work, just with a long and short 
Then we have martini glass. Super cool glass, yeah. James Bond, yes. Love this glass. For martini, cool. Now we're gonna go for this beautiful hurricane glass. It's intended for the hurricane cocktail. Yeah, a lot of fruits, a lot of flavor, rum, and it's super cool. But we can use it for other drinks like the piña colada. Yeah, so it's what you want, what you have at home. Most of you, you're gonna have standard glasses, like this. And this works for any drink you want. You decide if you want it on the rocks, you want it neat. Yeah, it's your decision. You are responsible of what you drink. Please do not forget about that. And now we're gonna go for a small glass for cocktails. I use this one a lot. Yeah, it looks like a small um, low bowl but I use it for cocktails. You can see it's almost the same, 300, 330 milliliters content. And well, so after we explain a little bit of all these glasses, uh, guys, I'm really happy uh, that we finished this session, this um, first 16 chapter 17 with this one. I enjoyed your support. Yeah, I really, really think about this. Please do not forget, yeah, to subscribe, ring the bell for the notifications. You get every video that we get online, you get a notification. And please give us a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe, it's really important. Uh, so guys, cheers, this is shakeline.com. I'm your host, Juan Da Costa. See you next season, I enjoy you a lot. Cheers guys, and thank you very much.